I'm KSBY News reporter Sophia Vialba, your community reporter in Morrill Bay, where the Central Coast Dragon Boat Association, founded by a team of cancer survivors, is taking the bay one paddle at a time by promoting the international sport of dragon boat racing right here on the Central Coast. Two teams are a part of the association, the Survivors, which consists of cancer survivors and supporters, and the Adventurers, which consists of college students, faculty, and staff from Cal Poly and Cuesta College. Racing with the team is just thrilling. Dragon boat racing dates back around 2,500 years in China and is continuously practiced during festivals and water rituals. The Central Coast Dragon Boat Association was founded officially in 2014 and now has 140 members. I feel like I'm paddling in a postcard. Um, it's just a great way to take advantage of the beauty of the Central Coast and have that camaraderie. The survivors practice almost seven days a week and those within the team have had the opportunity to meet people from different walks of life. Betsy A. Smith has played sports her entire life and says she's more fit now than she's ever been in her life. I played sports my entire life. I hung up my cleats at age 55. And for me, being a part of a team again at this decade in my life is just phenomenal. For Missy Bellaro, although she didn't grow up as an athlete, dragon boat racing was just the right fit for her and has brought several benefits to her life. We have intense races. We have tons of fun at the races. We've done a lot of traveling together. So it's brought so much to my life. It just has really um, enhanced it in so many ways. Racing season runs from March through October and in September they will be heading to Italy to compete and are currently fundraising for the travel expenses. Now, the Central Coast Dragon Boat Association is always open for new teams and paddlers of all ages. And for more information on that, look for this story on KSBY.com. In Morrill Bay, Sophia Vialba, KSBY News.